Hello, race fans. I'm Wiley Wade, and this is Wiley's Race Report. Hello, race fans. I'm Wiley Wade, and this is Wiley's Race Report, and we are covering tonight action from the 24th of June 2023, where we had the IMCA Modifieds, IMCA Stock Cars, the Wingless Sprint Cars, the Pacific Ghost Hobby Stocks, the BCRA Lightning Sprints, and rounding out the night were the figure eight cars, and we'll have some interviews coming up. But first, I want to tell you about this upcoming weekend, July 1st, where we're going to have the Sprint Car Challenge Tour and the Pacific Ghost Hobby Stocks. Just two divisions this week, as the Sprint Car Challenge Tour will take up most of the night. And just so you know, they have their own streaming service. So we're going to do a, a stream giveaway this weekend for the hobby stock portion of this weekend's activities. So we'll go live on Speed Union TV for those of you that have the subscription. But also for this weekend on Saturday night, we will go with a Facebook Live drop-in for the main event. And previous to the main event, we will show the heat races for the hobby stocks that's coming up this saturday july 1st you don't want to miss it with that let's take a look at this here first up eve cameron yvonne cameron she came out and did a wonderful rendition of the star spangled banner and also talked about her charity that she runs out there in martinez and in the concord pleasant hill area called passion in the streets and here's that interview and star spangled banner and also we'll take a look at a couple of our winner interviews Who's going to take home the win? We're about to find out. Green flag in the air. Ariaga on the high side gets down to turn number one first. Put Jared Sorries in the second spot. Look at Nick Larson. He's trying to get underneath. Sorries coming up off turn number two. Down the back straightaway into turn three. Side by side battle for second. One car spins around. Roy Fisher hops the wheel of the 88. Sean Ariaga into the wall of turn number one. Carol and uh, camera number one coming down the front straightaway. Sean Ariaga set that thing sideways right there and just around he goes and backs it into the wall. Fuel shot into the air. We'll take a look again at the Ariaga incident down there in turn number one. Sets it, gets sideways, slides up the hill uh, and collects the other cars to get involved down there. Newbury gets loose coming up off turn number two. Battle further back. Jared Sorry is trying to get underneath James East for that fourth spot. Trying to climb his way back up after that hit on turn two wall right about where he's at right now. I'm sure something's got to be bent or something. He hit that wall a ton and threw the car around up in the air. Give him the one to go signal this time by, and we're getting a battle for the lead. That battle's heating up. It was 1.2 seconds last time. Slower traffic playing a part in this. Here comes Bob Newberry, white flag in the air one more time around. Four tenths of a second that time. Battle for the lead up off turn number four. Newberry's not going to quite get there. Nick Larson with the win. Bob Newberry second, Jared Sorry third, Roy Fisher, James East, your top five. Victory Lane coming up next. Hey, congratulations. Hey, thank you took home a win. Yeah, thank you. You know, it's been tough this year without my dad racing me. I lost him at the end of last year, so we've just been trying to keep it consistent. You know, my guys work their butts off week in, week out. I can't thank them enough. You know, I can't thank Scott Martin, Steve Sorry, my girlfriend, my stepmom, everyone that's keeping this behind me and keeping it going. That uh, first or lap two incident down there in turn number one. Uh, thankfully, you were low enough that you got to avoid it. Like, right? Yeah, I don't even know what happened. Next thing you know, there's things stop on the front stretch. I didn't see anyone flipped over, but I just kept around the bottom to keep out of trouble. Yeah, Sean went in there and backed it in, and fuel was going everywhere. Oh, that's why they had to put the dry sweep down. So I right, well, you, no one really had a chance up against you. I mean, uh, Jared Sorry's tried there a little bit, and then Bob Dubray at the end of the race, but uh, you just, this thing was on a rail tonight. Yeah, my crew got this car dialed in pretty good, and I knew once I got out front and clean air, I could just cruise, so I slowed down a little bit to try not to get through lap traffic. I think I had to pass two cars in lap traffic, but other than that, this thing was on a rail all night. 
At that point, you were trying to pass some cars coming up off turn number four, and that really let Bob Newberry close in, but after that, you were not set sail. Yeah, I knew he was close. I could hear him, but I knew he didn't have enough momentum to slide me if I just stayed on top, so I just kind of cruised around the top and took the checker. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nick Larson. Travis Dutcher, Tricky Troy Folder, row two. Green flag in the air. Jason Robles on the high side, tries to get out a good run off turn number two. Dave Hill did not get a good run off turn number two. He's pushing up the hill in turn number three, right in front of Tricky Troy. Troy has a cut over. Jason Robles gonna lead lap number one. Folger works his way around Dave Hill and Scott Foster. Put him into P2. Dave Hill pushing up the hill and I, he clipped the wall right there with his right rear. And Folger right on the rear bumper. Jason rolls down into turn number three, pushes up the hill. Tricky Troy stays low. Tricky Troy, one of the drivers that is the first to hit the bottom side of the racetrack when everyone else is up on the high side. Diamond to corner, gets up off turn number two in a hurry. Robles fights back on the outside, side by side through three and four. At the line, it's Tricky Troy. Coming to the double checkered flag. Tricky Troy Folger comes up off turn number four, gonna do it again. Hey, we're doing it again. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep on uh, seeing you up here like this and keep talking to you every weekend. So yeah, you started back a couple spots. You had to work around a couple cars in front of you. Jason Robles gave you gave you some fighting a little bit. Uh, how'd you get around him? Yeah, Jason's getting better and better. And, uh, I really enjoy racing with him. Um, his program's getting really good and uh, hopefully we can continue to make ours good. But uh, I got around him, he, he couldn't really hold the bottom very good. and. Um, I got a pretty decent run on him out of four and kind of diamond one and two and drove underneath him and uh, I don't really know where he was from there but hats off to my guys uh, two cars it's not easy so uh, thanks Bill Vince uh, Devin my wife my baby uh, Tim all Mike all the guys that helped me on this all spec sheet metal uh, all flow up for an auto repair Southern County lubricants uh, one, two graphics. Uh, everybody that helps me out week in and week out. I can't thank the fans for coming out. We got we have a good turnout tonight, so it's it's really good to see. And hopefully we can put on another show for you guys uh, in the modified. Yeah, what a great looking crowd, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to see some fans up there. And uh, like you said, uh, hopefully we can put another show on for you guys. Learn anything in this car you can translate to the uh, modified? Uh, kind of just track service, but. Nothing from either car goes back and forth. Uh, they, they both drive really different, so uh, kind of got a little track service, but we got uh, some races in between this, so hopefully we can tune on the modified and make it good. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Tricky Troy Folger. Sprints getting ready for 20 laps of 80 event action. Green flag in here. Three wide into turn number one. Everybody clears out of back straight away into turn number three. I think that's all right up on the high side. Paddle for the lead down the back straight away into turn number three once again. All right, bring it around. A little bit faster than normal. Green flag in the air. BCRA Lightning Sprints. Their main event taking place right now with coming around to complete lap number four. Coming up off turn number four, white flag is out. One more time around for our leader, Dakota Albright. All right down the back straight away into turn number three, one final time. Working that high line, staying right up there along the cushion, coming up off turn number four. Checkered flag in the air. Matt Land, De uh, Greg Danette, Hunter Kinney, and Chris Crowner, your top five. I want to introduce you. 
Yvonne Cameron. She was she has sang the anthem here a couple different times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's been a couple years, three or four years or so. But she runs an organization called Passion to the Streets. Why don't you tell us what the organization, what it is? It's a nonprofit. What do you guys do? Uh, Passion of the Streets focuses on our homeless and extremely low income pre K through 12th grade students um, in our local school districts, mostly Martinez Unified and Mount Diablo Unified. And you guys just had a job fair a couple days ago. Yes, so when I say we focus on these families, um, it's not just providing basic needs um, and helping them through advocation, but we also had our very first um, job fair, job and resource fair, and we partnered with Rubicon Programs and the Department of Rehabilitation, and we had an amazing turnout. Um, a lot of people tend to think that all they need is a good paying job and everything's gonna be okay, but sometimes it's, um, it's a lot more than that, and not only that, but how are you gonna be able to sustain and keep your job? So we try to work with families in all aspects of employment readiness. I know another thing you do throughout the year, you have a uh, very awesome car show. Yes, we do. We have an annual car show um, in Martinez at Alhambra High School. It usually happens within the first two weekends of June after school's out. Um, and 100% of the proceeds from that event goes straight to the homeless liaisons for those school districts that we spoke about. How can people find out more about your information? What's your Facebook page? Um, you can find Passion to the Streets Facebook page. That's what it's called. You can also go to passiontothestreets.com uh, or you can email us at passiontothestreets at gmail.com. And how, they can, how can they financially support you or help you out? Um, if you go to... Uh, any of those locations, you'll be able to see a donate option. Um, we can use Venmo, PayPal, um, a few different other things. But if you go to passionofthestreets.com, you'll be able to find a way to donate. Well, you do a great job. I know this is a passion of yours. And uh, thank you very much for all you do. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Gentlemen, take off your hats. If you're a member of the military or former member of the military, thank you for your service to your country. If you're a first responder, thank you for your service to your community. And now here she is, Yvonne Cameron with tonight's rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Yvonne Cameron. Congratulations to our winners on Saturday night, and good job, Yvonne, for that wonderful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. If you can help her out, Passion in the Streets, um, that would be awesome. She does a great job and helps a lot of people out there in the Martinez, Concord, Pleasant Hill area, and you can help her help them. Uh, check them out on Facebook and on their website. Okay, don't forget, this Saturday night, it is free preview on our stream we will go on Speed Union TV. If you have your subscription, you can watch it there. Otherwise, we're going to be doing live shots on Facebook for the hobby stock portion only because the Sprint Car Challenge Tour has their own streaming service, so they will take care of their stuff. But we will have the Pacific Coast Hobby Stocks on our Facebook page. 
Antioch Speedway by Promotions, and on Speed Union TV for those of you that have the subscription. If you don't have it, you should get it because that's the place you can go see all the stuff and watch replays and stuff and all the different tracks they cover. That's going to do it for this episode of Wiley's Race Report. I'm Wiley Wade. Thanks for tuning in. Next time we'll have more from this past Saturday night. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.